I've been studying high school reform for about five or six years now, if not longer. I have talked and met with many high school experts around the United States, and I feel our challenge still is that all we are doing is rearranging the chairs on the Titanic as it sinks. We have to fundamentally rethink what high school looks like. And so when I looked at New Tech, you saw that it was relevant to how the world was changing, how the society was changing, around how we're going to communicate, interact, and create and produce for the future. Project-based learning is a way for students to access curriculum through real-world problems. For example, the project in engineering right now is a drawbridge project that combines a bridge building exercise along with an automated control system. Standards fit into the project which is their driving force. What does the state say the students need to know by the end of this unit? From there we just brainstorm, we kick ideas back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm not providing an answer to them, I'm, I'm helping coach them through the process to find an answer. But it's a very real world experience because when you're on the job or when you're working, you sometimes don't have the option of deciding who you get to work with. We all, we all have to depend on each other to get our work done. And whether you like it or not, you're going to have to talk to your group member. Whether you like him or not, because you got to set your personal issues aside because it's all about the work right now. Kids at this stage seek and wish to have control over their own lives. Okay, in a PBL setting, we've set the stage with that project, that authentic piece, and we've given control for learning, for time, for resource management, uh, relationships. We've put that a lot more of that control back on them. Now you, you get or you learn from experience. So in the traditional system where they are controlled, that learning doesn't exist. When you walk into a new, te new tech school, the difference that you'll probably see is that there aren't a bunch of hall monitors and kids with passes. It's obvious that there are more freedoms in the classroom, that students move around. Um, that it's not teacher directed. When you walk into New Tech, you don't see the same old high school. You don't see the factory model high school. There's just this amazing sense of students and staff taking real ownership in what's going on here at this school. I really think the culture here at New Tech is kind of indescribable. The, you know, we just have such a way about us that there's nothing else like it. Just because we have all this, you know, respect that flows around. You know, we're the first day we walk into school, Every teacher writes it up on the board, big letters, respect, and we just talk about it. In the beginning, as freshmen, we, we really, really work on them creating a culture. And as they progress, they start to develop, you know, it's almost home to them. Like, I have a personal connection with all my teachers here. And they do lecture us sometimes, but when they do, it's very fulfilling. Like, they know what they're talking about, and they're not just reading out of the book. They don't see me as that authority figure. What they see me as someone to help guide them to be successful. technologies that no other school really has, like Macs and um, just recording videos, just things like that, things that make it stand out. Other schools don't trust us to use this technology, but New Tech is different. It's nice having to use a laptop whenever you want and uh, access the internet as a resource. Uh, technology in my classroom is just another tool, but it's an incredibly important tool. They're learning the content, um, how to be professional, how to collaborate with their peers, and technology is just a way for them to manage that process. The students can get away from the computers and keep that important human-to-human -human interaction. Uh, we feel that if we just have projects that are completely technology driven, that they're going to lose that aspect of interpersonal relationships, and so we, we always build that in. I actually plan on going, going to college. Most students from New Tech plan on going to college which is very different than most high schools. So I think it, it really is like really opened my mind to opportunities and the things that I can do with myself. I didn't plan on doing anything, but it made me like want to go to college. It made me want to succeed and do something with myself. The most important thing about New Tech, the thing that everybody should remember about New Tech, 
thing that makes it different than everywhere else is it's a community and that it's a family and that everybody cares about each other here and that's what makes us succeed.